Hey guys, it's Carlos from Daily Carry Solutions. I'm here with Eric from the Outer Limitless YouTube channel. And we are at the Everly Stock booth here at SHOT Show 2020. Now, Eric is going over some of their hiking and outdoor gear, but from what they've mentioned to us, they may actually have a gray man lineup, and I'm really psyched to check it out. I'm already dressed in my grays. Let's go see what they got. So Mike, we touched up on the clothing, we touched up on different patterns, and we touched up on a lot of the hunting and outdoor uh, packs and gear that you have. Mm -hmm. What about for the average Joe that is done with hunting season and he's got to go to the office on Monday? What do you got? Right, yeah, I mean, so we've got our, our EDC line here that you can see. Um, there's a variety of different packs, um, anything from the backpack look, um, also to more of like a, a briefcase look as well. Um, I personally use a switchblade every single day. Um, at, this is our switchblade line, just um, this one is an ATAX. And then we've also gone to a gray man type of line where it's, as you can see on here, there's not as much molly. There's no flag insignia patch. Um, these, we want these to be as low profile as possible when it comes to guys seeing it, not saying screaming that I have a gun in here. Um, <laughs> Over these here, I mean, if you're gonna use this for hunting or anything, it's great. You have a big open pouch here where you can put extra mags, essentials, um, a couple pee mags in there is what I usually rock, and then quick, easy access stuff like gloves. Um, the great thing about the Switchblade is it also has our EDC compartment with rare earth magnets here. Um, you can actually feel inside of the pack here. Um, there's a spot for you to put your pistol down. The great thing about that is you don't have to worry about reaching in there and accidentally, you know, getting into the trigger guard and pulling the trigger. Um, also, my recommendation would be to not necessarily put your primary pistol in here. Um, I mean, always carry on you if you can. Of course. Put a backup in here. That's what I usually do. Um, but if your only option is to put it in here, then that's what we would recommend. Um, on the inside of the pack itself, um, you've got a large section here, uh, minus the pillow, of course, right? Um, inside of it, you can completely unzip it, so you can lay it flat, unload it. You've also got some molly on the inside. Um, larger pockets here on the sides that go pretty deep. Um, I usually stick like, this is good for like guys who are going to be traveling, airport, whatever. Um, I put my laptop in here. Usually I can fit about a 16 inch in there. I've got a MacBook Pro that I throw in. Um, chargers, cases, everything. I usually keep a couple extra Glock mags in these sections here. Um, and it's just very well, you know, compartmentalized for whoever wants to use it. Also hydration compatible if you guys want to take this rucking. Um, yeah, I like how there's that separation here so that if exactly. you have the hydration uh, pack there, you can put something in here like an iPad or maybe a right. small laptop and, and still keep that compatibility with the two and keep mm -hmm. them, you know, separated. Now, in this area is this line so that if, if there's a spill or if there's any leakage, right. it doesn't get, uh, you know, into uh, the Right. Computer? So we try to prevent that as much as possible. Obviously, water can soak through a lot of things, but I mean, if there is a leak, I mean, this is going to prevent it pretty well for you to be able to dry it out. And I mean, the material itself will dry fairly quickly, too. Speaking of leaks, mm -hmm. and I, I just wanted to touch up on that, I noticed that this is actually elevated from the bottom of the pack. Exactly. Uh, that, that looks like, a, I mean, that's pretty intuitive because, I mean, if there is some leak and it starts to settle at the bottom, exactly. uh, I mean, it's not going to touch it. You don't want your iPad resident. or laptop, you know, being ruined by it for sure. Yeah, Switchblade's a great pack. I mean, if it's a little too bit big for you, I mean, I get that for sure. That's why we've got these smaller options too. Um, we've got our combat office briefs for guys that maybe go into the office, you know, more of a you know, suit and tie type of job rather than the occasional, you know, blue collar. I like um, the name. <laughs> yeah. These ones here, we've got our smaller B2. Um, these ones here also have concealed compartment sections for a pistol, um, which is great for it. You can actually put, I would probably say about a, Probably about a Glock 19 size will work good for that. Okay. Um, anything a little bit bigger than that you may not want to do. Um, both have pockets on each side where you can put mags, extra things, um, just your kind of office essentials. This would probably be good for about a 12 to a 13 inch laptop for you. Um, if you want or have a bigger laptop, I'd probably recommend going with our B1 here. Our B1's a little bit bigger, um, as you can see. Um, same, similar setup. Also has the uh, concealed carry section on here. Um, as you can see, this is vastly a little bit larger, so you could probably fit a you know a full-size pistol in there and be just fine. And it's tapered to be able to do the similar thing with the switchblade here. Um, any optics, lights, flashlights, things like that that are mounted to your pistol um, might get in the way a little bit, but I mean for the most part, as long yeah, as you got like it, a clean grab and, exactly. and, and present. Okay. Exactly. Now, um, as far as colors, what what colors are are currently out? Uh, what colors are, are slated to be released? Uh, through 2020 for sure. Yeah, and this is uh, our dry earth color. Um, we do have it currently in black um, It will be coming out in a, our gray man line as well just like our switchblade 
um, with our, our B2, the smaller one of the two, actually comes in uh, our coyote pattern right here. Also comes in black um, and blue as well. So I think they're gonna be coming out with gray in this one. Um, I think that one's still in prototype for, we wanna make sure the color matches and is great for it. So um, two new colors for them. And uh, yeah, that's a great pack for you guys that are gonna be going into the office. Um, if you're looking for something maybe for like an SBR for the back of your car, uh, an AR pistol, we've got our Cherry Bomb here. Um, this will fit generally for an AR pistol about a seven inch um, without any Law Tactical folding socks or anything like that. Um, anything more, maybe like an eight inch, you'd want a Law Tactical to be able to fold that in there. Um, also our Bandit pack here is phenomenal for those guys who just wanna take something small. So maybe, maybe the Switchblade's not for you. Maybe you don't like wearing one of these and you just don't really care for that type of style. The Bandit's a great everyday kind of pack. Um, the Essentials on it, it's not gonna have um, that concealed access section here, so um, you're not gonna be able to put a pistol in it, but you could put it inside of the pack itself. Same type of opening um, from the top here. Um, you can see just smaller access points. Um, you can put your keys in there, just very minimal things, and that's what we've really designed it for, to be a light pack, something that's just a small day pack. Um, from the inside here, um, same type of situation where you can um, unzip it completely. Um, we've got some molly in the way, but you can see in here, it's also hydration compatible. So if you want to take that rucking or anything, um, you're definitely more than capable of doing that. The inside of that looks like, I mean, you can fit a lot of stuff in there. Just even if it's just a stuff and go, right. or you know, if you, and it has enough uh, pockets to where you want to make it like a, de a dedicated uh, setup, you know, for wherever you're going to go. I think that that's going to be a really nice, uh, yeah, nice pack. I like the bandit a lot. Perfect for just a little jacket, snacks, whatever you need for that day. Um, it's also got the molly here, so you could really undo this here with the layers are cut, um, and then compress something again, so you put a jacket there, you know, rather than carrying around the city if it warms up during the day, just nice. put it right there. Yeah. Mike, these packs are awesome. Thank you so much for taking us through not only what's out, but what's coming out for 2020. Uh, I mean, I'm really looking forward to seeing these in the stores. I hope you guys are too. Thank you so much for you taking bet, a man. moment. Appreciate it.